Electrical energy can come in a variety of forms, but there is a great controversy over which resource is the most efficient. Fossil fuels have been used for several decades and although it produces a lot of the world's power, it also produces a lot of emission. So is there an alternative way to produce energy in a clean and effective way? Tidal power generation is relatively new, so could this be the alternative solution to our energy production problem? Tides are caused by the gravitational interaction between the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. The gravitational attraction of the Moon causes the water in the oceans to be pulled in the direction towards the Moon. This rising and falling of the water in the oceans caused by the gravitational attractions are called tides. Tides occur twice daily at specific times. How actually is the energy from the tides used to create electricity for our homes? There are two ways it produces energy. One, through the use of tidal energy generators, and the other, called tidal barrages. Tidal barrages are very similar to the technology used in a hydroelectric dam except that they are much larger as they are built across a large stream or bay. This method blocks off the water source with a dam or barrage. Movable floodgates, called sluice gates, on the dam allow incoming tidal waters to fill up in a reservoir. Once the water reaches its maximum level, the gates close and trap the water. When the certain time arrives, the water inside the reservoir will form tides. Once they are high enough, the gates open and allow water to flow through the turbines and thus producing electricity. Tidal streams work similar to wind turbines but instead are underwater. Think of them as underwater windmills. The blades on the turbines get pushed by the tides causing the turbine blades to spin and the generator to convert the kinetic energy into electrical energy. The electricity is eventually transferred to electrical transmission lines and transferred to houses and buildings where people use it to power electrical devices in their homes. This does not require a dam, but has to be in areas with high tides. Tidal energy has its pros and cons, just like other types of energy sources. But you might think, what makes tidal energy better? For one thing, it creates more energy and allows ships to move around easily without colliding with the turbines. Turbine blades also turn slowly, which helps marine life avoid getting caught in the system. It's renewable, which requires only water tides to work. This system is more predictable than other sources of energy. It can last for more than 50 years if taken care of properly. And most importantly, it's emission free. The greater density of water can produce large amounts of electricity with small current and rotor diameter. This makes it effective at low speeds. The initial cost to build these tidal systems is very high and also installation and maintenance is difficult. Tidal barrages have very high infrastructure costs and are very damaging on the local environment. Also, constructions of such dams is a lengthy project. The locations are often remote and dams may restrict access to open water. This can have impact on fish, marine mammals, and birds. It captures dirt, waste, and pollution near the coast. 80% of the kinetic energy from tides gets converted into electrical energy, whereas 30% of the energy stored within fossil fuels, such as coal and oil, gets converted into electrical energy. In order to get this efficiency, the low tides must be above 7 meters or more. The energy produced varies between the size of the power plant and the area it is located. The average energy produced by tidal barrages are between 120 to 400 GW per hour. A coal-based generating plant produces about 550 MW per hour per year. Costs to generate are usually 7 to 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Tidal turbines function best at flow rates of 7 to 12 kilometers per hour. In conclusion, because of the low maintenance, low ongoing operating costs, the fact that it can generate more energy than other renewable sources such as wind energy, the cost per kilowatt hour is less and it produces a lot of energy daily can function well with low speed waves, is emission free, and best of all, because it's renewable and more predictable than other sources. Therefore, yes, it should be worth considering.